Southampton go looking for their first Premier League point since returning to the top flight on Sunday. But they face a daunting task as Alex Ferguson's Manchester United travel to St Mary's Stadium. A promising performance on the opening weekend of the season, in which they took a 2-1 lead away at defending champions Manchester City, gave heart to Saints fans, even though they lost the match 3-2. But a disappointing 2-0 reverse at home to Wigan last time out may have dampened expectations, although Ferguson feels there is room for optimism. Southampton, obviously, uh, you know, they've lost the first two games. It's not the, the best start for them, but, you know, the, I think Nigel Atkins has done a great job down there, uh, bringing them up to the Premier Division. It's a good setup actually, when you look at Southampton. Good training ground, good stadium. Uh, and I think they've got a bit of money behind them now. So I think they have a chance of staying in the week. I think they need their first win, obviously, but hopefully not Sunday. Ferguson will be hoping his new creative force in midfield, Japanese star Shinji Kagawa, continues his fine start to life in the Premier League. His early season form may have surprised many fans, but not the manager himself. We did a lot of work on Kagawa, and, and uh, his first season. He did very well, and that was a surprise because he seemed to come from nowhere. And, uh, and well done to Dortmund for scouting that way. And, but last season, he was more authority in his game, and his, his goal scoring was good from that position. And he, he, had, he, made, he developed a terrific partnership with Lewandowski, the Polish boy. And you know, I went to see him in the final, and he was absolutely magnificent against. Bayern Munich, absolutely magnificent movement, awareness of a pass, awareness of the space in front of him. He did everything, the kind of player we were looking for, really, and, and that's why we, we, we moved. United will be hoping to make it two wins in two matches to keep the pressure up on rivals Manchester City, who face QPR on Saturday.